homemade mayo slash miracle whip. Um, so it's not something we typically keep in our house. Um, we don't use it. We don't eat a ton of cold cut sandwiches. Um, we don't really use it that much. The only thing I ever use mayo or Miracle Whip for personally is for deviled eggs and egg salad, and I'm making egg salad, so I need Miracle Whip. And that is what I'm making. This is a pretty simple, easy recipe, quick to make, and you need a wide mouth mason jar and a stick blender to make your life easy. So I got my recipe here because I don't have this memorized. And what I'm going to do first is crack an egg into my jar. And I broke the yolk. Oh, well, that's OK. Um, now we're going to add two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. We're going to add half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm using pink Himalayan salt. And we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, ground black pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon. My teaspoons are typically, any, any type of measuring, I'm fairly generous on the measurements, especially when it's cooking. Baking, I'm definitely more of a stickler. All right, now we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of paprika, smoked paprika. I'm going to add a teaspoon of must ground mustard and I will definitely be overly generous with the mustard and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder okay and our last dry ingredient that we're this is a two teaspoons of, of granulated white sugar. Um, I'm sure you could use like honey or um, brown sugar or something like that too, but I haven't tried that. Now we are going to add a cup of avocado oil. this is the fun easy part. We are going to stick our stick blender in to the very bottom and turn it on. And we kind of go slow. And work our way up. we get it all back into the jar. Mm. 
make sure you clean out the underside where the blade is on your immersion blender because there's that's probably all the way full. Okay, guys, here is our finished um, Miracle Whip Mayo um, all emulsified and together. It will last about a week in the fridge, um, and then we don't go through it that quickly. I don't really like eating mayo by itself, so if it's not used in a dish, then it pretty much goes to waste unless... We get lucky and someone eats it in the house that's not me and it is a great alternative to buying it from the store especially if you have your own eggs it uses up an egg or anything to use up an egg at this point in my life is a good recipe okay guys um that's it for me for today um if you have any questions about how i made my miracle whip leave them for me below if you like this video hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more of what we do around the homestead and little interesting recipes like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you're on Instagram, follow us there. The link is in the description below. And I will see you guys ne next time. Bye!